What's up guys, how are you? Another video of the day, and this one's gonna be about a very cool product that I am thoroughly, thoroughly impressed with. I've always had kind of a soft spot for this company, even though they've always ignored me. But nonetheless, I know you guys would want to know about this company. It's a very popular company, and I'm gonna talk about a product of theirs I've been using the most, and this is from Grave Before Shave, and this is their Beard Butter. I've been using this off and on for about a week now. Now there's a few special things, a little few quirky things about this product that I've realized throughout using it, and I'm gonna share those with you. And of course, you get 15% off when you use the code BeardTube. I think that's the code. It should be BeardTube. You get 15% off your order. I don't think anybody else gets a discount through them besides when they're running like um, specials, of course, on their site, but I get one for you guys for eternity until the world ends or something or I die or their company goes under or so I don't think any of that will happen. I'm immortal, so. So they sent me out two things of beard butter and one of the things I noticed right off the bat is this is huge. This is four ounces of beard butter and it's a lot. And I'll jump right into the second thing that's a little bit unique about this product and that is a little bit goes a long way. Now, I've seen other reviews where people are like, Oh, just use beard oil sparingly. A little bit goes a long ways. Bull crap. I got a big beard and I put more than a dime size amount in my hand. I put more than three or four drops in my hand, okay? I put quite a bit in my beard because it's big and it's thirsty. This quenches that thirst 100% and more. So let me tell you about this. I'm very accustomed to having to use quite a bit of beard products in my beard, being that it's big and thick or whatever. But this just kind of, it defies my sensibilities. I've used tons of beard products and I'll scoop out the amount that I would usually use of another beard butter or something like that and put this in my palm. And when it emulsifies, it becomes way, way, way too much product. So if you do get this, know that you're gonna be wasting product if you put the general amount that you usually put of other products in there. So if you're used to getting your beard balm and scooping out a big dollop like I am and rubbing it around, it's gonna be incredibly too much of this. The first time I did it, all the way through like the third time, I overestimated every single time. And the first time it was by a lot. And I still put it in my beard and it was not pleasant, okay? I mean, overall, it's, it's beard butter, it's cool, but it was just too much. The reason I use beard butter and I've been using it a lot and I've been really fascinated with it lately is because the way my beard looks when I use it. Now, beard balm has its place. Beard oil has its place but I've been really, really leaning away from beard balm lately and using a lot of oils and butters. And this is just a phase I'm going through because I like my beard to look um, very like natural, I guess. Right now, this is after a long day of running around and doing stuff, so I haven't really put anything in besides like once today. I actually use the Fresh Beards Butter, which is really, really good. Um, but after I take a shower here in a few minutes, before I go to bed tonight, I'm gonna put a little bit of this in. I'm also curious to know if this is just a, my situation or if you guys have experienced this as well with this butter, but it emulsifies into like this huge amalgamation of stuff. There's so much in it, somehow it deceptively packed into this small little dollop. I don't know how, I don't know what it is. See, look, I've used this for five days and there's barely any gone at all. And that's because I've learned that, that see this big one right here? This big scoop, that was my first one right there. And that was like the regular amount that I would use. And it, it was way, way, way too much. So I've learned slowly to use about like a quarter of that amount. But what that does is it makes this an incredible value. I'm not sure the price of this on the site, but all their stuff is very reasonably priced. This is four ounces, number one. Um, and this one right here is the teakwood. Yeah, teakwood scent beard butter. And it's just very unique wood, woody smell. It's like, it's like woody but citrusy, I guess. I don't know how to... Teakwood, if you know what teakwood is, I'm, I'm kind of new to teakwood. Um, sandalwood's always been my favorite, but teakwood's a very like uh, interesting take on the wood scent. But this, to get through this whole tub, would take a year probably, I think. Maybe that's exaggerating, but it would take a long time to get through this tub of product. Now I'm gonna show you how much I would normally use, and then I'm gonna show you the correct amount that I would use. So normally with like other balms or products, I would get a scoop like around that, right? But trust me when I say, if you emulsify this in your hands, it's gonna be too much. I would do it right now, but I have stuff to like hold on to. I don't wanna be slipping and sliding around in the shower, okay? So what I do is I take that down to like, like around that much, if that, that's probably too much. Now let's rub this in the hands and I'll show you what I'm talking about. My hands are completely covered in oil and it's thick or butter, whatever you'd want to call it. And that's a way more than enough. 
so yeah, I just wanted to make this video to kind of get my general thoughts out about this because it's definitely a unique product. The smell is awesome. I'm pretty sure every product they make comes in all their scent line, I believe. So I'm probably gonna reach out to them and see if they'll send me some different uh, scents of this butter to try out. But this teak wood's actually really cool. It's what I've been using the most. They sent me the, uh, look, even my hands are still like super greasy. Man, not greasy, it, uh, buttery, but it looks cool. They always do super cool stuff with their artwork. I mean. I don't know who their graphic designer is, but dude's killing it, okay? This is really, really cool. But yeah, this video is just kind of to kind of outline my general um, feel of the butter from Grey Before Shave. I really like it. I've been really obsessed with butters lately, and I really dig them, definitely. And uh, trying out different companies' butter is kind of like um, educating me on the various like types and like textures and amounts that you should use of beard butter. So go check it out. You get 15% off on their website, greybeforeshave.com. Uh, it's like the fisticuffs website or something like that But you get if you type in beard tube as your discount code you get 15% off I don't get a kickback or anything. I'm not getting paid for this I don't get a kickback, but I know it's a coupon code you guys would really 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 appreciate because it's a very very popular Beard product so I'm doing these videos to kind of spread the word about what I feel about it so Yeah, guys, that's that go follow my Instagram official beard tube You can kind of watch my da daily vlog of a beer uh, Instagram story You can uh, catch up and see like the inside scoop of what my life's like and if you're into the beards, hit the subscribe button. If you want to support the channel for free, it doesn't cost you anything, hit the like button, you know? Just support me. Support, guys, you're supposed to support me. Come on, come on. And yeah, guys, as always, thanks for watching. Have a great day. Stay bearded. Bye.